Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have picked cacao as chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. special stocking stuffing. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants labels, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give them, we receive them, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holidays. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. 